pretty damn awesome being out there. We just went out and played for about an hour. Dog honestly just loves it. He was born to be in the snow, he really was. He's just rolling around in it, just, oh, honestly. It's like a dream for him, it really is. Had a very refreshing toilet break, which was um, great, using snow and a couple of baby wipes, which I brought back and put in the uh, bin. Part of the mountain game, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, I'm now been to the loo, I feel like I can eat a bit more without worry, being worried. So I'm gonna have a nice meal tonight. I think I've got a chicken tahika to, yeah, chicken tikka uh, with rice to uh, make, which will be good. So quite excited about that one. Blue's just look at him. He's just absolutely calm, relaxed after he's playing the snow. So yeah, everything's just gone fine and dandy really nice relaxed sort of camp to be honest um, yeah it's a bit more awkward when you've got to stay in the tent for longer but as long as you've got enough things to entertain yourself and you don't let your mind run off in anything negative then um, you know it's a great place to be it really is um, I've just I've just loved it just embracing it absolutely embracing it so anyway I'm gonna um, try a uh, get some food on and then uh, eat that. Um, I fed Blue earlier and I'm going to feed him again but um, it's just really getting some energy ready for tomorrow morning because it's going to be a fair chore. Digging and digging and digging. So anyway we'll get this tent out somehow. <sighs> Time for some dinner then now. We have got chicken tikka. And I'm just going to add some more rice to it. So, yeah, this is going to be well appreciated because I'm pretty hungry now. And uh, obviously I need some decent energy for morning as well. So a good strong meal like this will definitely help. And it'll definitely make me even happier than I am already. Which is almost impossible. But So I'm just going to stick it all in this pan that's down here. And then um, light this gas up. I don't know if you can even see that. Light the stove and just get it nice and warm for me. A nice hot meal. Well, dinner is served. You can't really beat this. Nice hot meal, tasty meal, on top of a mountain, in wild conditions. Yep, I won't actually want to be anywhere else, honestly. I really wouldn't. Camp 4 on Everest. The weather's actually um, calmed down a little bit again, but um, an hour or two ago, my god, it honestly was mental again. Another like wave came through. But I only have to endure the wind till about midnight, and then it starts to die off till morning, and then hopefully we'll be all right in the morning to uh, get out, get packed up, and get ourselves off down this mountain. Ah, it's. Um, it's actually really nice being in a tent when it's like cocooned in snow because you just feel like totally safe. I've still got, at this side, I've still got a wall up to that height. Absolutely solid, all this. So it's like... Oh, it's starting again. So when the snow is piling its way down like this, um, it's actually pretty good that it's windy because the wind actually blows the snow off the tent. Yes, it drifts up against it, but that holds the tent in place, which is quite a good thing. And I've been thinking about how to get this tent out in the morning because the pole sleeves, the poles um, are inserted from this side coming over the top that way. But this side is the side that's um, absolutely rock solid wall. So I need to, I think, 
dig out all the actual um, pegs, all the peg points, just dig a little pocket down, dig it out, pull the peg out, and then I'm going to slide the whole lot over towards that side, and then um, obviously then I can get the poles out of this side. Um, it might be fairly tricky to do, but that's my plan anyway. Hey, so, oh look at state of me, this is what you get for living outside for <laughs> trapped in a tent for two days. But um, I, I look like I've been on the, the series of Alone, just been bedraggled by weather. Um, have you seen Alone? Because if you haven't, you must watch Alone. Check it out, honestly. Start a series one, they are honestly the most incredible survival videos. Just brilliant. It's um, out of anything of all the programs ever been on TV, that is the one that I would love to be a participant in. I'd honestly love it. And me being the um, positive minded person that I am, I'd love to think that I would be the last man standing. Although I'm getting a bit sick of this now, it's only been two days, I want to get off. <laughs> Maybe not then. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to uh, remain in my snow cocoon, my snow casket, and I'm going to uh, lay this lug and then um, get ready to enjoy the morning, which hopefully will be just like fresh, gentle breeze and a pleasure to be out in. Anyway, see you in the morning. Morning flowers. Well, if you're still watching this video, you guys need to have a word with yourselves. I was just thinking about it and um, you've just watched a fully grown man laid in bed for two days and you're still watching. So <laughs> I don't know, there's something wrong with you, I'm sure. Oh uh, dear. Anyway, last night it was um, pretty windy as forecast till probably about midnight. I fell asleep um, probably about that time and then um, I woke up this morning in the dark at probably about six o'clock but there was not a sound, like there just wasn't any sound whatsoever and I've just been laid here for the last sort of couple of hours just waiting for it to get light. Um, and just listening to my own heartbeat and also the uh, ringing in my ears which is the sort of a tiny little bit of tinnitus I think you call it which I've got so I I'm just trying to muster up the energy to pack everything up get everything together dry everything out I can give it a good wipe down where I can and then uh, get myself out in it and see what the uh, damage is outside because it has snowed quite a bit I'm pretty sure so there's pretty much um, more to dig out for me which is going to be fun so yeah this is it this is the time it's light enough to see what I need to do the dog's been out for a wee and now it's a case of getting myself ready it's been pretty cool hasn't it my little igloo in the snow here it has been cool right let's get some energy together have a little bit to eat and get ourselves out there and playing in the snow <laughs> right well a quick look outside then there's my blue he's uh, ready to get out and do some exercise I think so let's just flip you around and we'll see what's going on. Wow, that is complete white out. Let's just do, let's do it this way. Yep, pretty much can't see anything. <laughs> uh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh dear. At least another way off the mountain, that's the main thing. Navigating shouldn't be an issue, I don't think. Another stream to follow, so. Oh, brilliant. Absolute whiteout. You cannot see probably 10 metres there, I would say. <laughs> 
Right, I'm ready to get out in it. The wind's picking up a little bit, but it's uh, not too bad. Most it'll be about 20 miles per hour, I would have thought. I'm gonna uh, leave the dog in here. He's ready to go, just to need his backpack on. My backpack's sort of done, ready to go. It was quite hard work, actually, uh, packing everything up, um, just because it's not so much like a tight space, but when everything's wet, you're just trying to make sure everything's done right, that's all. Um, but I've made sure all the things that are necessary are in place, ready to go. My cleats are down here. Not my cleats, my um, crampons are here, um, ready. I've got my ice axe, which I'm gonna take out with me because that's gonna uh, help with my digging, possibly, to find these pegs. Um, things like my gaiters on properly, make sure everything's done up properly. Boot laces, always make sure they're done well because that is something you do not want to be faffing about with outside in the cold. <sighs> Double knot and all that. Right, let's have a go at this then. See what's going on out there. Right, ready to go again. Let's just unzip this. Hell, that is a proper whiteout. <laughs> oh well, won't be able to see a thing. Let's bash on, eh? Wow. Yeah, complete whiteout. I can see a rock up there that's about 30 metres. But that's it, can't see anything else. You can't see where the snow is to where the sky is. And that's what a whiteout condition is. Just complete white, that's it. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at this tent. Definitely snowed. Yeah, this is gonna take some digging out. It's gonna be a, a good hour, I thought, at least. So I'm gonna start with digging out near the front door and then um, every single peg point. I'm gonna dig out all the peg points. This ice axe is actually working really well. It just loosens it all up so I can get it out by hand.
just trying to use minimal energy and just uh, boring little holes like that just so I don't have to dig it all out All that for a peg. got all the peg points out now so what I'm going to do is is literally lift it up and out so I need to get all the stuff out and lay it down here and then um, we'll have a go lifting it out and see what happens took some doing that though <laughs> Right here goes, I'm going to try and lift this tent out. I've clipped it to my bag just to make sure, just this guy line because obviously this is going to be quite a big sail and there's a, a fair bit of wind still. Definitely class of snow storm this one. <laughs> right, let's see what we can do with this then. Let's pop you down. Right, ready? You ready for this?
I'm just keeping my bivy bag close to the outside just in case I need it on the way down. That was absolutely epic. He actually went smoother than what I thought. It could have been a hell of a lot worse digging that tent out. But anyway, we are packed up, ready to go. Blue's just uh, having a wander around. I've got my crampons on, gaiters, ice axe in hand, not that I'll need it. Gloves, goggles, the whole lot. So we should be bright enough getting up here. Visibility, I don't know, you can sort of see up there. It's like maybe 50 to 80 meters, so it's not too bad. Uh, I know I'm way back anyway, that's the main thing. So anyway, let's see how we get on walking back. Well, there we go. Leave no trace and all that. I'm not exactly sure it's leave no trace because uh, <laughs> look at it, it's a massive rolling ground. But let's just have a last look. I mean, look at this. This wall here, that's a, a 500 millimeter ice axe, I think it is. It might be in 450. And look at that, it's well above that. So yep, definitely cocooned in last night. Yeah, just fantastic. I almost don't want to leave. It's just like one of those places where, or one of those experiences where you just, you watch it all on television and you never actually experience it yourself really that often. You know, I love watching all these Himalayan things where they're climbing Everest and K2 and things like that. And just seeing like how amazing these people are. And just after doing an adventure like this, it shows me how hard those guys are. They are actually incredible. I mean, for me here, this was, I don't know, let's say a six or seven out of 10 really for difficulty. But, you know, those guys are just hitting 10 all the time and spending weeks doing it. So, unbelievable, total respect to them. And, you know, it's something I want to do, just sort of push myself a little bit more, definitely. And just to see what, what is out there and what is, what is within my capabilities of doing, because you just never know unless you try. So, anyway. I'm not saying to you guys, get out there and have a go though, no chance, because, uh, you know, I've got quite a bit of experience of doing stupid shit in life, so, you know, make sure that um, you uh, stick within your own limits, within your own sort of comfort zone. So, but, you know, doing something like this, two days in a snowstorm, it's definitely within my comfort zone, but there's always, always risks involved, so just be aware of that. Anyway, enough uh, waffling on, let's get ourselves off, say goodbye to it and we're going to walk into the whiteness, total white out this way.
visibility is pretty good to be honest I can see quite a long way but obviously the main thing is got to make sure you're careful where you're putting your feet because you just don't know how deep it's going to be it's not too bad on the general areas but there are a few streams which underneath might be quite deep and you don't realise and you fall through it These are the bits you've got to be careful of. You can see there, there's obviously some sort of stream, but you don't have a clue where it goes, so you've just got to be very steady at these points. Well, I'm at a transition point from the snowy mountains all in the background. And if I turn you around, down in the valley bottoms here, there's barely any snow whatsoever. And that's exactly the point I'm trying to sort of say to you guys. Just make sure that if you are going out on adventures, dress and take the right equipment to suit the conditions up there, not down there. And do you know what? Every single adventure that I go on, I always come across people who I think are underprepared and they do not have the right kit with them. Um, yes, most of the time they'll make it back safe and you know, happy days for that, but there's obviously the occasions where you know you can get caught out, and you, as you can tell from the video, the conditions up there are completely different, massively dangerous compared to what is down there. So just be aware of that, guys. Hold on, give you a wipe. <laughs> Anyway, it is time for uh, me and Blue to get back to safety. We're nearly there now anyway, so I thought I'd just uh, do this video end now. But definitely take care out there, guys. And, um, you know, if you uh, enjoy these videos and you're learning from them, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And um, I've also got a uh, buy me a coffee link. So if you want to contribute to uh, the channel, because I am going to try and make sure that I keep progressing and you know getting out there and showing you guys just that little bit extra and you know know how and just to help you on your way if you're gonna if you're gonna get out and wild camp or you know do a, a walk or an expedition like this so anyway guys take care it's been a pleasure until the next time we'll see you soon